basically we're under a um, we're under a, a wide range corporate attack. They want to they want to gut our benefits. I mean, you, you got many people worked in the plants that uh, suffered through the long layoffs of the 80s and 90s and come back to work, and their you know their their rights have been repeatedly taken away from them in the plant. They're working harder and harder and harder, and uh, um, now it's getting time for many of us to retire, and it's like. Well, now after sticking with all, through all this crap for you know nearly 30 years, they want to come along and uh, gouge your health care and your pensions, and it's you know it just seems like they're uh, the corporation's taste for concessions is um, it's just basically unlimited. It's pitiful the way we've been treated. We forced to go way across the street to the damn freeway bridge to, to protest. And I remember the days we used to march to the convention with, with signs. I mean, this is a period of democracy. This is a period where you're supposed to express what you want. They use and they pitting us one against the other. And uh, they're being creative about it. Viva, yeah, I'm concerned that uh, through these negotiations, a, temp, a real attempt is going to be made to take the retirees' health care and give it to the union. Uh, like GE has done. But right now, our main concern is this. We are being under siege and under attack by the corporate chieftains of the auto industry. And war has been declared upon us. And this convention should give us an opportunity to come out with a strategy about right that. Now my, now my main concern and what I'm hearing back at home is about the health care. Why are we concerned about health care? Because Wagner, and I'm speaking on GM right now, Wagner has told us he's coming after health care. The analysts and the think tanks have told us that the auto industries are coming after health care. The media, big Headlines saying GM trying to tame the corporate beast. They're talking about health care as if it's some kind of beast. Our health care, you know, we're being told that we're uh, uh, legacy costs. We're people. We're human beings. We're not legacy costs, you know. So uh, these are things I'm not hearing, you know, the, 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 the anxiety and the frustration and the determination to, to address, you know, the things that's, that's happening with the corporation. But don't and you I just think have to give that up to make the companies competitive, the state competitive? How are we going to bring new business in here if all that? Well, we've, we've been there, we've done that. We need some new strategies. This situation is, uh, this is unlike, even when many of us in, eight, in the 80s fought against concessions, but... This is nothing like what we had to face back then. This is a whole new ball game, and we need some new strategies to deal with it. But again, I think that if we keep our, I think that I, I, I feel that we as people, and whether you're auto worker or not, we need to keep our eye on Delphi because if Delphi goes, and Delphi haven't been part of GM, and we have haven't had the. Uh, being the gold standard of union wages and benefits, I, I think that we should keep our eye on that to see what corporate America will do with the rest of the working people. Unfortunately, it seems like at this point the UAW is just kind of a dead union. I mean, it's, it's, um, I mean, like you come to a convention where delegates should be, delegates should be speaking up and like, you know, it seems to me like nobody wants to speak up because it makes you a target. You, know, you don't want to. You don't want to fall out of line with what your, uh, right. you know, your top level leadership wants. For one thing, you don't get an appointed job that way. If you're looking at a union career, you got to shut your mouth and go along with what your leadership wants. It's kind of like it's okay for the ship to sink, but don't tell the captain it's sinking. But I'm gonna tell you what. It's the conditions that's really where the line is going to get drawn, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. and the water, quits being water, uh, the jobs are already quit being jobs, homes is quit being homes, you know what I'm saying? 
houses is no longer houses, no more communities, you know what I'm saying? So uh, the issues are turning into conditions and it's expanding. Because we're all playing copays now and all, on, on a lot of things. If we didn't pay copays, we all got to make monthly contributions to the uh, to, to the uh, to this account, you know, that's been set up called Viva, and uh, so we got a real dangerous trend going on, and we, uh, I think that's the main issue we got to deal with. There's not enough exposure of these different forms that division comes in, and the UAW is talking about uh, <clears throat> Uh, what's that race to the bottom? Well, they in the fast lane and they leading it.